Oh, it's like telling people not to use a hair dryer in the tub. 15 seconds until what? You implode? Hello my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am so happy to be doing this video because I am whittling down my boxes. I probably have about 10 videos filmed so far and I woke up today probably feeling about 50% good which is a miracle for me because I never wake up feeling good at all. So that was a double win for me and I have a lot of these to go through as you've as you've known and you already know that they are several months old but I'm finally getting that in my living room that's a plus so this particular haul is all from past ipsy and boxy charm add-on sales and this past current one because it's what's today is it the 20th I think it's the 20th <laughs> I don't remember. All I know is it's the end of June, and I did not buy anything in the Ipsy add-ons or the BoxyCharm add-ons this month. So let's get into these, remind myself of what I bought. You know how that goes. Let's see what goodies I got. Okay, this one's really stuffed with stuff. And again, uh, I wonder if the date's on here when I ordered it, at least when it was shipped. It's been a while. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Here's a little baggie. And by the way, I encourage you to stick around for the video because somewhere in this video I will be announcing, announcing, not announcing. I don't know what, what is announcing? It's a new word. Somebody tell me what announcing is. But announcing a giveaway at some point and I think at least once a month I'm going to be doing giveaways because I have to whittle down all the stuff that I have to give away and let me tell you it's a lot of nice stuff. Okay so I have something from Penrose it says holiday six pack and this says petals. Would I have ordered something that says petals? Contents include six petals Oh, they're called fragrance towelettes, chosen from among 10 Pinrose Eau de Parfums. I have Secret Genius Pillow Talk Poet, Mystical Misfit, Gilded Fox, Merry Maker, Pinrose, Sun Saint, Wild Child, Little Dipper, Tambourine Dreamer. That's more than six. <laughs> and they're towelettes, so is it perfume in a towelette i I've, I've never heard of something like this I'm, I'm quite intrigued apply fragrance to pulse points using towelette wait 15 seconds 15 seconds until what you implode this one's secret genius and it says madagascan vanilla caramel and sandalwood see i don't want to waste it right now and open it because i'm not going anywhere unless the cats want me to smell particularly good today i don't want to waste it so i have secret genius the pillow talk poet two pillow talk poets two, oh okay i have two all right let's try this again i have two secret genius Two Pillow Talk Poets, which is powder, ambergris, and musk. And then I have one little dipper, which is peony, lavender, and creamy sandalwood. I'll be giving that one away. And then Wild Child, gardenia, jasmine, and frangipani. Um, it's the gardenia part, so I think I'll give those two away. Now, unfortunately, because it's been so long, I have no idea what I paid for any of this stuff, but I do have another perfume from Skylar. I have been loving the Skylar perfumes that I have been receiving. The last one was just okay, not my favorite, but they are quite expensive, and this is quite a nice size. This is Spiced Creamy Luscious. It's called Fall Cashmere. Yay? Yum? Roasted almond, cinnamon bark, and spiced ginger. That's a pumpkin patch, apple farm, cinnamon lover's dream. Wow, that was quite the description. Hmm. Upon initial scent, it definitely gives me that fall vibe. I definitely smelled some of the cinnamon. I want to let it sit on my skin because the scents sound intoxicating to me. I'm trying to describe it. It's not exactly what I thought. 
but I do want to wait. It's not horrible, but it's just not what I thought. So let's wait and see how it settles down and how I like it. But okay, I got three perfume towelettes, which I probably wouldn't pay for again because, you know, it's a one-time use thing. Okay. Um, oh, I know why I got this, because I wanted another silk pillowcase. I'm hoping that I didn't pay a lot, because I know that I can get this exact set, if not something very, very similar from Kitsch in TJ Maxx. But you're getting one standard pillowcase, one eye mask, and one sleep scrunchie. I'm going to have enough eye masks that I can be this bougie person that I so am not. I am, I am the furthest thing from bougie and living a bougie life but I do love satin and silk pillowcases and remind myself never to have a trace of makeup on my face or else that white pillowcase is going to become ruined extremely quickly. Alrighty, the next thing I have is shocking. <laughs> I know you're shocked. I don't like eye masks. Why would I possibly buy eye masks, you say? You know I'm being facetious, right? Uh, but this is a self-warming eye mask. It's called Starry Eyes, and it's from Pop Mask. It's looking like it's a full eye mask that goes across the whole face. And let's, uh, what is it supposed to do? The eye mask will begin to warm up when opened to use immediately. Place the white colored side of the eye mask on eyes with notched edged down. Place straps around ears. Keep eyes closed and do not press the eye mask against your eyes during application. Eye mask may cause smudging or removal of makeup. Well, no, no crap. Really? <laughs> you want to get, you want to hear this? Do not place in the microwave, which I can understand, or oven. <laughs> can you imagine looking at your... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why it's so funny. I'm just imagining looking at my cookie sheet going. Hmm. I wonder how these would be if I put them in the oven. Oh, it's like telling people not to use a hairdryer in the tub. So I guess you're supposed to, use, like, you know, use it for, like, 10 minutes or so. It's going to be fun and intriguing. I don't know. I would probably help with a headache or tired eyes or whatever, but those directions and those warnings. <laughs> okay, I apparently ordered myself another cleanser. I have a million cleansers, and this is the Porifying Super Cleanse from Glam Glow. Why would I order this? It's oil fighting, mattifying, and clarifying. I don't need this, but I just, I question my sanity sometimes at, at the things that I'm, I, I do. This is normally, I think, like at least 40 bucks, and obviously I didn't pay that. Okay, do I have two more perfumes? And I think I have these already. Could this have been like a mystery thing or, you know, of course, if I didn't wait so long to open them, I would probably know. I hear you in the comments. I hear you. Say, this is English Laundry. It's Oxford Blue. And I think this is a spray. And this one is pretty good. I probably have it back there. And this one is Kenzie. And I think I have this one too. Let me look for a second and see if I actually have them. Okay, this is ridiculous. I have two Oxford Blues. Why would I order another? Let's just spray this one. First of all, let me go back to this perfume, the Skylar. Okay, it settles down into more of a gingery rather than a sweet scent. It's more spicy than it is sweet, but it's not bad. Let me spray this Oxford Blue again. This is more of a clean, fresh scent, I think. Like powdery. And do you know, right on the boxes it says, uh, not for resale, just so you know. <laughs> and let's do this last one because why not smell like a, you know, a complete I don't know what. All right, now my nose is confused. I think I like this one the best, but obviously I'm not going to keep these guys. I'll probably put those into a, a giveaway too. Yeah, doubting my sanity. Okay, the next thing I have is a little baby eyeshadow. Don't remember ordering this. It is from Shayna B. And this is really quite pretty, but 
I'm pretty sure that I have these colors. This is a great one and done, or actually, because it's two. So it would be two and done look. Um, maybe I'll just put this into a giveaway. And this is called Soka and Bacchanal. Okay. This had to have been a mystery bag. I wouldn't have ordered this stuff. From Dermadeli. I like Dermadeli products. I had an under eye serum that I got the little baby one of and I really enjoyed it. I haven't purchased it because I keep receiving so many. Melly. <laughs> Uh, mm, okay, Lash and Brow Serum. Okay, I don't need anything for my lashes, but for my brows, sure. And it just has like one of these type of applicators. Feels like a serum. It's very, very slippery. It's uh, going to be interesting on my brows and how I'm supposed to use it. But as I said, because I did like the Dermadeli ingredients um, that I gotten before, I'll be interested to try it. What's this? Simple Satch, Fashion Meets Function. That's, that's it. Um, it's fuzzy. Oh, I think these are makeup erasers. Aha, So Fresh, So Clean Cleansing Kit. It includes a face towel, spa headband, two towel scrunchies, and eight cleansing puffs. Take care of me, hand wash cold, do not bleach, do not iron, and air dry. So here is like the makeup wipe and again I love that it has the hanging things this is really really quite soft I better not let the kittens get a hold of this and here is a nice soft headband which is nice because it has the velcro so you ever have you know a headband that's so tight it gives you a headache the minute you put it on so that's really cool the towel scrunchies are amazing. I know I got the other brand of towel scrunchies. These are great because I don't blow dry my hair, especially in the summer. So getting out of the shower, you just pop it up and woohoo. And then these are really nice too. I have a bunch, but I use them every day to take off my eye makeup. So that's a nice one. So I really wish I could say, yep, <laughs> I, I remember. I remember ordering all this stuff and um, I'll tell you no no I cannot doesn't mean I'm not happy just a wee bit confused but all right let's get into this next little box this one is from BoxyCharm I have two the same size oh how nice they sushi bundled it interesting <laughs> Okay, I'm having a moment. Forgot that I ordered it. This is number three. Granted, I like using it. It's very weird to use, and uh, it I use it in combination with the wet cleansing cloths. If, if you don't know, this is the Patrick Star, the Go Off Makeup Removing Spray, one size. It's great, it's, it's weird. But it's, it's kind of like spraying Pam on your face. The only difference is you're not frying yourself. But I think that was probably like $6 or $8. Oh, and I ordered some more of my Wander Beauty baggage claim masks. These are the, this is a pink box. Normally the box is red. I don't know what the difference is. You are getting five in here, and the inner package looks just the same, just the outer package is a little bit different. These are nice because they are not silicone, they are like a foil, but they do stay. Whereas the jelly ones, I really like the jelly ones, and I have a bunch of them, but they don't stay, so you, you can't do things when you're wearing them. This is from Fenty. I just placed an order. You'll be seeing that because I'm going to go over that as well. I placed an order with Fenty um, for some stuff that they're having a major sale on. So I picked that up. But which color is this? Is this a highlighter? This is the Diamond Bomb all over. And it's in how many carats? And do I, did I just order this? Did I just order this? It's the same one. Because Leanne forgets that she orders things. And isn't this the thing like 30 or 40 bucks? The packaging is stunning. I mean, I will give it that. And this is an absolutely beautiful highlighter. 
Okie dokie. So this is from Item Beauty. Haven't bought anything from them either. I've gotten it all in my boxes. This is a concealer because the 40 other concealers that I have in my drawer are obviously not working. This is the Air Hug Concealer and it's <laughs> much larger than I thought it would be. How adorable is the packaging? I love the matte ombre top that goes into the shiny silver. It reminds me of a gigantic pencil. This is in shade 200. Let's see if the color is good. Obviously the doe foot's going to be huge. Yes it is, and it's a very odd shaped doe foot applicator. Well that's an interesting texture. It's slightly moussey. I think the color might be good. It did blend out nicely on my hand. I'm going to be excited to try it and then, you know, I will probably be highly disappointed. And I only say that because I'm highly disappointed with every concealer. I make some of them work. I have maybe two that are acceptable, but frustrated city. Okay, so if you have made it this far, thank you so much for hanging out. And now let's go over some of the items in my giveaway. I have a bunch of these priority boxes and basically as much as I can squeeze into the box is what you're going to win. But these are definitely some of the items that are going to be in here. I have the cosmetics facial scrubber and mask applicator. I have a mini bottle of the Hemp's Lotion. This one is the Age Defying. I have a baby of the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I have a Too Faced set here. It's called the One Hot Mama. It comes with a Better Than Sex Mascara, a Too Faced, obviously Too Faced, the Melted Lipstick, a Dual Highlighter, a Brush, and the Adorable Makeup Bag. I have an Urban Decay Brush. I have a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. I have a Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I have the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. I have an Ofra Blush and Bronzer. It's in their old packaging. I have a Belief, the Aqua Bomb. I have the Carity Cosmetics Smoke Show Eyeshadow Palette. That is what it looks like. I have this palette. Another Too Faced lipstick here. This is a mini. It's their Melted Chocolate. I have the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I have mine. I can't reach it at the moment or go get it. It's a gorgeous palette. I have the ColourPop Cherry Hand Mirror. I have a little mystery bag in here of some makeup samples, um, some perfume samples, and other things. I have a Soap and Glory Bath Bomb set. And that is what is in it for now. As I said, once I pack this up and secure everything, I'm just going to pack it until I cannot anymore, and then I'm going to be shipping it out. I will open it internationally. I do know that it's probably going to cost about $75 to do so, but I do have international friends who watch my channel, and I don't want to exclude you. All you have to do to enter is to let me know what your favorite perfume is and if you don't wear perfume just let me know what your favorite scent is in a body wash or anything like that just so I know that you watched this part of the video and I am sweating like there is no tomorrow even with my fan on there will be a link in the description box to a Google form all I need is your first name last name and email address I will email you Please check your emails because the last two giveaways, people were not responding to my emails. So please check your email so that I can send you out this package. I have to be 18. I can't be responsible for any lost or stolen packages. I can't be responsible for any import fees or taxes if you do win and it's international. If there are any other disclaimers that I left out that my lawyer would have my head for if I didn't mention, I will put them down below. I just want to say thank you to you guys. And I said I'm going to try to do at least one a month so that I can help myself get packed up. Okay, back to the goodies. I have my other BoxyCharm box here. And we got another little wrapped up package. Oh, okay. So these were the twofers. They offer twofers like towards the end of their sales. And I have been really enjoying, I'm almost done with one of them, the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body. This stuff 
really does a nice job. I have heard that some people really don't like the scent, but it has 12% AHA BHA. And it's you're not going to feel moisturized when you use this, but you are chemically exfoliating your skin, which can help fur. I have fur. Bumpiness, texture, dark spots. It smells herbally, uh, but it's really not that bad. I will go over products shortly that I cannot use it because I can't take the smell. But anyway, I've been liking this. I've gone through almost an entire bottle. I have one other one. And uh, so I, I kind of stacked up on it because it was two for one. I mean, it was probably like $9 and it's probably like $35 on Sephora or whatever. So, I don't know if you tried it, but if you had your reservations, remember, it's not really moisturizing. It's meant to be, why was that aggressive? Okay, it's it's a serum. It does feel nice, but I put my lotions on top of it to kind of seal in everything. Anywho, okay, so this is from Frank Body. I'd never tried it before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a fly landed on my viewfinder. But to me, it looks like Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, okay. Now that my heart is... Uh, all right, I'm fine. I had never tried this before, but is there anti-makeup cleansing oil? I was very curious to try this. Uh, there are so many products that I've tried lately that have not been good. And if I can ever get my butt in gear, I have to do a review video because there's a lot of fails coming up. Let's see. I do like the package. I don't think I can smell anything. It's on the thinner side of an oil. And I'm very particular about my oils because I want them to emulsify and rinse cleanly. And there are some that definitely do not and leave that oil slick on your face, yet you never feel like your face has gotten clean, if you know what I mean. So I will be curious to see how this works, how it rinses, etc the last box I can't remember where I got this from it's in here but I don't think I got it in the sale and for goodness sakes this is from it is beauty blender I knew I wasn't cuckoo well <laughs> we know that's debatable this is a custom blending thing I always use the back of my hand when I'm mixing my foundations and inevitably aside from I think two or three I have to always do some type of mixing with my foundations and this must have been on sale or else yours truly wouldn't have bought it um, it's actually kind of cute and it comes with a little blending thingy I have a metal one don't know where it is hey the good thing about moving is that I'm either going to find everything I'm looking for and keep it or find everything I can't find and uh, declutter it do I have to take off the silicone thingy I'm so confused. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> OMG. It does come with a little loop here um, to hold it. And I, I like that it's clear. That's kind of nice. It has like a scooper and um, this one's flexible. And this one's a little bit less, like this is thinner spatula to uh, do this. It's very complicated and very complex for something that essentially is quite simple, but I like it. I don't know what the purpose of the silicone is. I'm going to have to... Why do I keep saying gonna? That's such improper English, Leanne. I am going to have to read up a little bit more on it. This is from Peach and Lily. I think a lot of people have been sponsored by Peach and Lily only because they all seem to talk about things and so highly at the same time. I have the Glass Skin Serum and I, and I like it. I, I don't think it's a miracle, but I do love face mists and I have a little bit of an addiction to face mists and this is called their Glass Skin Veil Mist. So of course you know that I, I had to buy it because I only have like 30 of them beautiful bottle it's glass i really like that let's see what the mister is like Ooh, maybe it feels really nice 
and it's got a beautiful mister. Not one that malfunctions and like part of it shoots you in the eyeball and the other goes across your shoulder and hits the person behind you. Not that that's ever happened or anything like that. And the first ingredient is like the cum cucumber, not cumber, cucumber, um, what do they call it? <laughs> fruit water, cucumber fruit water. Um, I like it. Uh, mists never go to waste on me because I use them all the time. Anyway, moving on. This is from Bite Beauty. Why am I giggling? Because I also placed an order with Bite Beauty when they had their sale going on. So this is the Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. It's in light two. And I have so many powders. And I don't seem to care. I have discovered, as I think we all knew, how really short and valuable life is. And I've decided as long as I can keep a roof over my head, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm not going to be splurging as much as I used to anymore because I won't be able to keep a roof over my head. But I'm just, I'm enjoying myself. And this is the packaging. It's cute. It's domed, which I like. It does come with a little baby powder puff. Very nice mirror. And you know, I'm quite shiny. So how about we, we try this? And, and I think I will give the little baby powder puff. Oh, how cute. It even has a little thingy. It's more of a spongy material than that soft velvety type. Let's let's just try this. Aside from my dark circles, um, I think it looks nice. I'll have to tell when I get into see, you know, into my simple humor mirror and see how the color is, but I would definitely use this. I don't know if I'd use the puff all the time unless I kept it in my purse, but I sure would um, use it with a fluffy brush. Okay. Had to get more of these. I love them. I've talked about them before. This is the Sweet Spot Grapefruit and Verbena. They're kind of like bathroom wipes, intimate wipes, whatever wipes you want to call them. I use them for underneath my arms when I'm sweating profusely. Uh, these come in great. I've gone through package after package of them, and I like getting them in here because they are a little on the pricey side. Aha! <laughs> this will be my second one. No third, because I picked up two of these, but this is the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. I cannot wait to try this, even though I have eight mascaras open. Clara Barrera, my friends. I'm going to link her below. I know you guys will know her, but you know, in case there's somebody new, and if there is, hi. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for hanging out. I am so curious to try this mascara, even though I just opened a new one yesterday. Doesn't matter. She says this is amazing. I need to know. I need to find out for myself. And now I have three of them. Okay. Oh, yes. And um, so this isn't too, too old, actually. Probably maybe only about a month and a half. But I ordered the Sour You're Doing palette in the cell because I didn't know that I was getting it in my box. I've only tried it once thus far, but guess what? Now I have something else for a giveaway. I did order some more, <laughs> some more of these. These are the Clean Skin Club clean towels. They are waffle material towels that are dry and you wet them and you can use them probably I'd say about maybe, I could get about five times uses out of them, five times uses, five uses that's it Leanne out of them they're great because they are biodegradable and after I'm done using them on my face then I'll use them to like clean up my sink or wipe down my toilet or whatever so I really do get quite the use out of them and um, they're great better than having to wash my washcloths and I said I like that they're biodegradable I know but what are you gonna do I had been eyeing this palette back and forth for quite some time I wasn't sure about it but the color store reminded me of the tiny Marvels palette from oh for goodness sakes I know you're going to tell me in the comments if you remember I'll, if I remember I'll put it up on the screen anyway this is probably like a 40 to 60 dollar palette I didn't even tell you what the heck it is it's the Paris love letter palette and oh it's okay it's in this type of packaging which I love it's it's very detailed it's very very pretty I have several of these palettes I love the mini ones 
I think sometimes the quality differs between these and some of the other ones, but I still love them all. But look at how this opens up. I mean, it's so freaking cute. Hold on. I did that just for my friend Abadabs. Oh, you know, and you can pop these shadows out, which is awesome. I think it's a very pretty light color story. Go away, fly. It does have one deeper chocolate brown. I'd say these are fairly similar in tone. This one looks much lighter than the others in the camera. But I'd wanted this for a while and I decided to treat myself. I have to try the green and the purple. Green and purples to me. Oh, this is beautiful. They go beautifully together. Oh, look at that green. Oh my, and look at that purple. So I think I'm going to play with this tomorrow. I'm also discovering because my eyes have been looking so dry and horrific that lighter shadows are looking a little bit better on me and make me not look so, you know, graveyard-esque, um, graveyard adjacent. I'm looking for some other words, but that's all I've got. Alrighty, so this is from Dr. Brandt. I've spoken about this brand a lot, and it's Light Years Away Whitening Essence Active Marine Complex. Fades dark spots and reduces discoloration and evens the skin, co skin cones, <laughs> skin tones, and hydrates. Let me tell you, when you stop producing estrogen, um, lots of not so fun things happen to your skin, and I am not liking them and especially the melasma that's popping up is driving me insane. I'm going to have to look up the ingredients and see what is going to help fade the dark spots get away from me. But I'm hoping that it will do some good things. I know that this is probably about $80, maybe more. I do like the delivery system because this is going to be an airtight pump. Um, airless pump as a matter of fact and that way you know you're getting all of the product out number one and number two if there is any vitamin C active ingredients in here hopefully it will protect it I will let you know of course that takes several months to see any efficacy if there's going to be any but I'll, I'll try my best to keep you updated cute and tiny. The little, little baby. Okay. Even with the magnifying glass, I cannot read this. It has, oh. <laughs> okay. It has the texture almost of the Bite Beauty. Hmm. Hmm. Why the heck not? You know, I think I like it. Granted, I'm wearing pink, but it's like an orangey and kind of pink and orange goes. I always defer to you guys. It's very comfortable and it went on quite easily and I didn't struggle uh, with it going outside of my lip line. At least I don't think it did. As I said, I'm, I'm going to defer to you guys because you're the experts and you're always honest with me and I always appreciate it. So... I don't know where that came from, though. That could have been from BoxyCharm. It could have been from BoxyCharm. I, I don't know. This is also from Bite. Oh, yes. This is the Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss. The one thing I'm going to miss about Bite Beauty is doing this with the caps. Since I discovered Bite Beauty, I've done this with the caps. It's been addicting. And, uh, oh, ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, you know, you know. Let's see. I'm going to try some on on top of this and see what happens. Well, one thing I can tell you, it tastes delicious. <laughs> I love plumping lip glosses. The bigger the burn, the better for me call me a weirdo. It's been done before. 
So I'm happy about that. And I was just about to reach into there and there's nothing in there. And this last thing is the nighttime lip therapy. Do, do you know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if I possibly combined my Bite Beauty box into that one. Is that possible? But this is the Agave Lip Butter Lip Mask. What? Nighttime Lip Therapy. I have enough of these to last me an entire lifetime. I don't mind. It actually says Bite over there, which is adorable. It comes with a little baby spatula. And this is obviously the vegan formula, which so many people said that they hated. I have them both. I have... I think the vegan and the non-vegan formula. I happen to love lanolin because it is so incredibly moisturizing for my lips. A lot of people didn't like it, of course, because it wasn't vegan and the lipstick stained my hand. I don't really care, but I wanted to let you know that. But, um, so I didn't expect this to be as long as it is because A, I talk a lot. B, I make, you know, a complete full out of myself but we come to expect that and we laugh and we have a good time and I uh, I feel guilty about laughing these days but I'm coming to learn that it is it's okay for me to laugh and for me to smile well my friends um, once again thank you so much for going through this with me you guys are all amazingly wonderful I'm so grateful for you I hope you realize that I hope you know that and if you're new and you want to become part of the family, we would love to have you because we, this community, is super, super awesome. Hope you guys are taking care of yourselves, staying well, staying healthy, and just as I said, enjoy your life. So whatever part of the world you're in and around, I hope you're having an amazing day or an amazing night, depending on where you're watching this and when you're watching it, not just where, but and when. And I will see you guys really soon. Love you. Bye.